a like a one slide summary of GANs. So I am hoping that you already know. So this is the generator. So GAN has this generator and discriminator and they are playing a game where they are trying to defeat each other. So the generator is trying to produce output uh, in such a way that the discriminator will think that this is the output which is from a real data. So what this discriminator, it, it knows what real data looks like, what, which means in our case, the discriminator will know what high resolution images look like. And for that case, its it goal is to produce the output of one, right? If you are real, I will produce the output of one. And, and the discriminator, the goal is that it will try to make this, like anything that is produced by a synthetic or generative method, the goal is to find out, catch it. So it should produce zero. So basically it should say you are fake. Anything which is coming from a generator, it should declare you are fake. Anything that is the real um, data, it should say real. And that is what the discriminator is trying to do. On the other hand, generator tries to produce a output. So this is the, it produces this output which in such a way such that the discriminator such that it can fool the discriminator which means that it tries to say I am not fake which means that it will try to make this near to one right so this this is the game that the playing that they are playing the generator is trying to defeat the discriminator in the sense that it is trying to produce the output which the discriminator will think is real on the other hand the discriminator is trying to catch the thief or the generator and in this way, they do a two-player game and there is a min-max loss. And uh, by solving that, actually, the, it, what it happens is ultimately, the generator uh, actually is able to produce very good photorealistic images, which the discriminator is not able to catch. So that is the goal of this. And that is like what GAN does. So in our case, the, the input to the generator could be the low resolution image. And the output of the genera generator is the high resolution image, which is then passed through this discriminator. And then it tries to find out real or fake. And it has this adversarial loss. And this adversarial loss is then fed back. Like, I mean, I mean basically, um, yeah, I mean, this adversarial loss is used to update the weights of the generator. And this is, they're playing this two player, um, two player game and at the end the generator becomes as good that whatever it is produced, it looks like a real image. So, so this paper obviously has two components. One is the generator network and the discriminator network. So the gen generator network will take an input as LR, LR image, low resolution, and then will produce as SR. And it has this network, we'll discuss briefly about it. On the other hand, discriminator always take HR as input. And then its goal is to classify it into either uh, fake, real, or fake. Real means it should come from a real data set. Fake means it should come up from a generator. I mean, that is the goal of the discriminator. And this discriminator is nothing but a two-class classifier network, which, I mean, is very simple in some sense. But anyway, so this SR GAN is uh, actually the first framework which is which kind of generated photorealistic images with 4x upsampling and it uses perceptual loss. So as we have said, MSC loss is not the mean square loss is not the good loss because it kind of produces a blurred image, blurred uh, output. Rather, what they use, what this paper proposes is adversarial loss because it produces photorealistic image. Okay, and the other, there is also this content loss. So these two losses is what they use. Okay, and uh, this is the adversarial network. So setup which we already know that this generator and discriminator, they are trying to fool each other and they solve a min-max problem where the goal of generator is to fool the discriminator and the discriminator is trying to identify what is the right thing, I mean, whether it is real or not. So the, the generator, this is about the generator architecture. So it's a very deep network and it has this residual blocks and it has B residual blocks. And like these are the residual blocks. And this is shown in like what exactly the elements or what exactly the layers is. So it has convolution, batch norms, parametric ReLU. So parametric ReLU is something like this. So we know ReLU means that uh, anything positive, it will pass on as it is. But anything zero, it will clip, anything negative, it will clip to zero. 
But the problem with ReLU is once it goes in this 0, which means actually negative values, which it will produce output of 0, there we cannot do any gradient update. So to solve that, there are leaky ReLU, which says that instead of making it exactly 0, make it very small fraction, 0 0.01 of x, like this, slope will be very small. So the slope on the positive side is 1, slope on this is like 0 0.01. Uh, but what this parametric ReLU is, does is instead of just taking this as one of the hyperparameters, why not just learn this? Like instead of taking it as a fixed number, 0 0.01, let's call it as alpha and then let's learn that. That is what parametric ReLU means. So anyway, so this has this parametric ReLU, again convolution, batch norm, and then there's element-wise summation. And like this is repeated many, many times. And finally, uh, what it does, so all these are 3 cross 3 convolution, batch norm, parametric ReLU. And finally, this, this is important because this is how the, so all this processing is till now, all this processing is done in the low resolution because the image itself is low resolution. And all these is in the low resolution space till here. But here we are doing the upsampling because we know ultimately I, I want to produce a higher resolution, right? So somewhere I have to do upsampling and that is done using the pixel shuffler. Now what is pixel shuffle? Uh, this is shown here. This is a way of upsampling, increasing the resolution and what this paper uses is called pixel shuffle. So what it has is like it has this low resolution feature channels, like let's say T square channels and it what pixel shuffle will do is it will take this first pixel from here, put it here. So basically the goal is to produce a higher resolution feature map here. So it will take this, uh, this pixel and it will place it here. Then it will take the first pixel from the next channel, place it here. The uh, first pixel from the third channel, place it here. And the third, fourth pixel, I mean first pixel from the last channel, place it here. And this way it is constructing this two cross two blocks from each pixel of this input. So from this it is obvious that this will be a higher resolution, right? It will have 2x of the resolution in both sides. So this way we are doing upsampling. So instead of uh, using all the interpolation technique, rather the all it is doing is rearranging the elements in a tensor. So let's say it is of this shape, height and width is the height and width of the image, and uh, c, number of channels, R square, R square is some factor. This is the, actually the super resolution factor. Let's say these are the number of channels we have in the input tensor. So pixel shuffle, the goal is to produce the number of channels will be C, but this R is then goes here and here. So it is nothing but what we have explained here. So for example, if R is equal to two, um, so it is like that number of channel is C into four, right? Two square four. And then after rearrangement, it will become C channels, but two, twice H and twice W, which means that the, it has been up, uh, up sampled by a factor of two. So that is this is kind of the thing that it is using for this up sampling. It is using pixel shuffler, and again some convolution is there, and then we get the super resolved image. So this is the generator, and the discriminator is quite simple. This, this also has many multiple blocks, and it also uh, it also does, what is it? It does stride, strided convolution. Instead of max pulling, it does strided convolution. And finally, it passes through dense layer, which is the MLP and all. And then it has a sigmoid at the end, which does the classification, right? So this is the discriminator. And then uh, the loss also we have to specify. So there are two components. One is this adversarial loss, which will which produces photorealistic image, right? That's what we have seen. And this is the content loss. So content loss, um, yeah, it has to do with um, kind of, it is um, it is a perceptual loss and VGG-based content loss. I mean, we could say content loss could be uh, MSC and all those things, but that again, we know it is a pixel-wise loss. Pixel-wise loss is not very good. So rather what it does is it looks at VGG, which gives us the context. So instead of doing this, this is content loss. This is more or less nothing but, yeah. Uh, I mean, content loss could be, this is like L2, kind of L2, but instead of using pixels, intensities, what it does is uses, it passes through VGG features. So it takes the ground truth HR image, 
passes through VGG and extracts, I mean, at some layer it takes the features. Same way it takes the low resolution image, passes it through the generator, so it produces the predicted high resolution and then extract features and then it does the loss in the feature space. So this is the content loss and adversarial loss, we know this kind of things. I'm not going into the details, but this is like the generator trying to fool the discriminator. And these two losses are used for training the generator. The discriminator uh, loss will be based on the adversarial GAN kind of, whatever GAN loss you use, the discriminator will use this. And then you alternately train the generator and the discriminator till the gen generator becomes very good. So that is the goal. And here what we are showing is some of the results. So this is like SR net, so residual net. So this is almost like the same generator architecture as the SR GAN. But uh, here we use just the MSC loss. So you can see the, uh, like these are the very blurred kind of output. Now this SR GAN MSC means we are using the adversarial, the generator and the discriminator and the adversarial loss. But we use the content loss as MSC. Here also we can see blurring. Here we are using the VGG as the con content loss, so it is better, but it also matters what channel of the VGG we are looking at, what level and all we are looking at, so what layer we are looking at. So this shows that certain layer, 5.4, is the best, and this is the ground truth. So this kind of, uh, this is a GAN, basically overall, this is a GAN network uh, which can produce photorealistic. Mm -hmm.